Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play KIN Ken VR, a game now released on the Steam Store. But it's been on the Oculus Store, I believe, since 2017. Uh, it just released on Steam, I believe it was last Thursday. Uh, for every headset, it normally retails for $14.99. I bought this back in 2018, 50% off, and I do recommend this game, but it's definitely not for everyone. So this is basically a puzzle slash action platformer. So if you're not a big fan of platformers, I, I doubt this game will change your mind. Uh, what this game does bring to VR is a basically top-down slash god perspective on the platforming. So you basically get the platforms all around you and I believe this game is best played like on a swivel chair that way you can still move sometimes you will have to like look around so you can clearly see all the playing field for the most part I didn't have any problems I didn't have to strain my neck or anything like that to follow the action uh, I was able to, to get a good view for for most bits although sometimes it is difficult to tell uh, how close to the edge you are depending on what view you're seeing the platforming from. I played this on an Xbox One controller and I do recommend a controller to play this game. You can use your Oculus Touch controllers as a gamepad but I just don't recommend it. You want precise controls and I believe a gamepad is what you're looking for versus keyboard and mouse or versus using your Oculus Touch controllers. I did enjoy this game but I definitely have mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, I love the boss fights. The boss fights were very challenging, very interesting. But some of the levels were quite frankly very mundane. And I didn't enjoy every level. Some levels were fine. I wouldn't say any of the levels really caught my attention. Like, wow, that was a really good level. Uh, for the most part, combat is just a little too easy with all the trash. Uh, there's ways you can make it much easier. You can use your, your charge up ability on either your sword or on your little uh, throwing disc object. And you can also jump off the ledge anytime you're dying to get back full health. So those kind of cheats kind of make it uh, a, a little bit easy. Now obviously you can up the difficulty. I only tried it on normal. Uh, but even then I wouldn't say the combat feels terribly satisfying. And I have no desire to, to play it again uh, or, or try the harder difficulty. It's just not for me. Uh, I enjoyed it for what it is, but uh, for me it was just okay. It wasn't anything great uh, except for the boss fights, which I really, really enjoyed. And that's the main reason I'm recommending this game is because the boss fights were enjoyable. They, they were tricky, uh, especially the last one. The last one, there is no... Uh, ledge to jump off so <laughs> you got to get it right and you got to figure out a mechanic about the last boss so I'm not going to show that I'm not going to say what it is but you have to figure something out about the last boss you got to kind of have to be a little observant and notice something about the last boss so you can defeat it and yeah it took me quite a while before I figured out what that was and then I, I beat the boss like on my second try after I figured out what I was supposed to do uh, the game is about two hours long so it doesn't have a whole lot of content, uh, but it is well polished. So I didn't notice any issues. Uh, it ran smoothly for the most part. It is beautiful for the most part as well, although it is at the same time it looks beautiful. It's also kind of basic in, in parts. It, it, it's a basic art style, but it's a pleasing art style. I guess is the best way that I can phrase that. Um, there are puzzles you need to solve, but nothing too difficult. Uh, a lot of the the puzzles is just execution of those puzzles. So there is nothing other than the last boss. There was nothing really that stumped me and that I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. But the execution, <laughs> that's something else. There, there were I had to try and try and try again usually. Uh, but again, to make it easier, if you're running low on health, you can't jump off the ledge and you'll restart at the at the very beginning or the last or a checkpoint within the level uh obviously you don't always want to do that because you don't always want to go back to either the complete start or the checkpoint and there's enough theme levels that uh, it keeps it interesting um and new challenges as you go along 
There's not a whole lot of enemy variety, but there's enough there to keep it interesting. And <laughs> this part of the video I wanted to highlight because this is where I just constantly fall and fall and fall again. Basically, this is like Dark Souls for falling. <laughs> you will fall. Uh, prepare to fall versus prepare to die. You can see, see here, prepare to fall. So uh, yeah, I fell lots of times. I was kind of embarrassed here. <laughs> uh, now, is this worth $14.99? If you're a fan of platformers and you want one with an interesting VR perspective, then I would say definitely, yes, it is worth the full price. However, if you're not a big fan of platformers, and that would be me in that category, I would say wait for a sale. I got this 50% off and I feel like that was the, the better price and I'm glad I waited for a sale because I wouldn't have been too happy if I had paid full price for that. But at 50% off, I think I got a good deal. Uh, it, it entertained me for almost three hours. And yeah, I enjoyed the boss fights even though I didn't really enjoy all the levels. And some of them, like I said, I found a little on the mundane side. Uh, overall, uh, there is a story as well. And, but it's very minimalistic. There's no text. There's no voice acting. There's just some uh, cinematic visuals that you'll see to tell you a little bit about the story. But I wasn't really interested in the story. Uh, but the boss fights definitely had me hooked and wanted me, had me motivated to finish the game. So overall, I'm going to give this game a 6.5 out of 10. I, I just think it's a very niche game. So if you like puzzle platformers... Uh, You'll probably like it more than I did, and you might even rate it higher than, than I would. Uh, but keep in mind, this is not challenging like Super Meat Boy or anything like that. This is something that is approachable. Although that last boss fight, like I said, is quite a challenge. So there are challenging parts, but nothing that uh, even a casual player can't uh, beat. So yeah, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.